Hello folks, Josh here with Ben and Bass Fishing, and I don't want you guys to make the same mistake I made when buying the Helix 10 from Humminbird. I have the side imaging and all the bells and whistles for this model, it's about $1,700. I'm going to go through all the likes and dislikes that I know. I'm going to show you the likes first and then go over the dislikes. So I'm going to use a different camera to film at the same time. First thing that I do like, power on and it is simply clearly better. It starts up within 10 seconds. So a couple seconds here. Escape, escape, change of view, and you are marking fish within a matter of seconds here. So that's one thing I like. Second thing I like, I can change all my displays right on the screen really quick. I can change all of these items right here I can change those in the settings it takes a little while to get there uh, marking fish is super simple right now it is connected to my smartphone which is a good thing and a bad thing I get a lot of text messages throughout the day and I can see them on my screen some I have to respond to I should just turn my phone off sometimes which is good and bad I can change all my views there is a lot of views on here so you can actually turn those on and off depending on what you want to do so I actually have my trolling mo motor in gear right now, or on autopilot towards uh, Savage Island. And I know there's a boulder field up here, because I've gotten too close to it with the, the main prop. So a couple things that I do like, and it's not touchscreen. I wear gloves a lot, I hate fighting with touchscreen on my cell phone, and I know it's the biggest and best thing. Price comparison between the 10 inch model and Lowrance 10 inch model is huge. This is not touchscreen. that's really the only difference. And it has mega imaging. So let me show you the other thing I like is the side imaging. So right now I'm coming up to this boulder field, which I can turn my trolling motor up and get a little bit of faster footage here. So what you're looking at is the vertical column right below me, so there's a rock or something right below me. And then this sonar is shooting down off to the right and down and off to the left. So I'm seeing on the back side of rocks, these are shadows. Some of the flies on the screen, of course. The shadows of the rocks are because the sonar can't see through it. So a fish could be hiding right behind that and you won't see it. And also, the white spot, so this could be a fish right below me. And I won't know that until I switch screens, which is super quick, so it was a fish. And this is the, the megahertz down imaging. So 2D and then the megahertz down imaging. Like I said, there's lots of different settings. There's zoom in settings. Uh, one thing I'll show you that I also like is, so, is the presets, which is the one big thing. So the presets, there's three of them, which is great. And I'll show you a cool feature. So let's say this is a really big rock and I can tell this, there's a stick attached to it and it looks like there's really good uh, detail to it and the fish are gonna be holding up on it. I can go like that, mark, mark. That spot is now marked. I didn't even have to be next to it to mark it. I can scroll over up to 100 feet left to right depending on how deep I am. So 20 feet is 100 feet left to right, uh, which works really well. That's the kind of water that I fish in the most. Uh, for small and largemouth bass and whatever else I'm fishing for at the time. So I can mark those rocks up to 100 feet left and right and what you're staring at right here is the water column which is very nice. So I can make that go away by changing the settings and then I see straight down. Um, it's a little complicated to get into that setting so we won't go in that right now. The other thing I like is I can change these presets. So if I wanted to change it to something like this, I can just hold that button, three, two, one. And now that shortcut saved, and I can switch between the two, which is nice. The other thing I like is, so the zooming feature, it is super quick to change screens. Don't have to worry about any of that. Now the things that I don't like are, I need more buttons of these. I need at least probably five for what I want to do. I haven't figured out what screens I really want to do at the same time. Um, fly on the screen because it's a little difficult to figure that all out. It depends on what type of fishing I'm doing when I'm in 
for shallow water, the side imaging is good because I can see left to right, see if there's any structure around me. So I want to be, be able to change that quick. The one thing that I should have done, and this is the big thing, is I should have bought two of these. Two of them. Because I have a lower ant in the front, and I wish I had two of these because I'm always spinning this around so I can see it from the front of the boat. And then my head's twisting the whole day and I'm spending more time looking at this instead of straight down on my other screen where I'm missing fish. So that's unfortunate. Uh, they are a little bit on the pricier range. They are cheaper than low rants for the size. Um, you're really getting the touchscreen advantage to it. So that's the big thing. So that's the one thing I don't like. Uh, number two I don't like is the I need more buttons on the side. The settings are a little easy to get into and some of them are a little more difficult. They have an advanced mode right now so there's uh, push menu once, push menu twice and you can get into everything you need to. There is hundreds of different settings and offsets and all sorts you can do. Um, it's nice that they put a little hummingbird in one here that I can change uh, my auto chart live, all that stuff. That stuff that if you buy it you're going to have to play with it. Watch my other YouTube videos on how to install this uh, at Bennett Bass Fishing on YouTube. And there's all sorts of stuff that you can you can do with this machine that I, I could, couldn't even imagine before I had this. I didn't even know this stuff was possible. You know, I've seen videos of it. Uh, the detail is absolutely insane. So let me exit this and let me go back to, I mean, this is a boulder field. I know that it's here. Uh, the rocks are kind of spaced out quite a bit. So you won't know what holds bass until you, you land on that one rock. I know I'm coming up to like a little pier up here or a little jetty. Uh, that you can see from the surface, but there's a rock field leading up to it that you won't see until the water is clear and you can drive right over it. And then you're scaring the fish. This will let you know within 100 feet left and right of where those fish are or where the fish could be and where those rocks are. So it's really a great product. I highly suggest buying two if you need to. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, it was a quick review. And it's my likes and dislikes. I'm sure I'll have more likes and more dislikes as I, I play with it some more and uh, get a chance to actually work with it a little bit more. Uh, if you like what I'm putting out, I'm putting out more stuff. I'm trying to do it once a week. It's, it's a lot of work, uh, but I like it and enjoy it. And I like you guys subscribing and liking the posts and doing all the above. So if you do it, subscribe below. I'm sure this is going to be very helpful for people that are buying it. I'm doing these giving back to the YouTube community because there was nothing on this particular model when it first when I first got it which was a few months ago because it just came out there was a few people that had a couple things on there uh, but not the big detail and it's been really helpful so and I love posting giving back to the YouTube committee so subscribe below makes everybody happy like and comment if you guys want to see anything else from uh, this model or any of my other fishing videos uh, there'll be more to come this summer, and there's a bunch more tournaments coming up. So subscribe, and you'll get it. I'm going to try to do every Wednesday or Thursday a post. So keep coming up with new ideas for me, and I'll keep posting them.